In this video, I'm going to show you how to move users from one Active Directory domain to another Active Directory domain. So for this example, I've got uh, the source domain ad.activedirectorypro.com and then my destination domain is a completely separate forest. They're not, uh, it's not a child domain um, and it's ad.networkverge.com. So on the source domain, I'm going to use the AD Pro toolkit. I'm going to export the OUs, the groups, the users. And then we'll use the toolkit on the destination domain to import all of those OUs groups and the users. And then lastly, I'll run through the PowerShell commands that you can use to verify the number of users, OUs and groups on uh, both source and destination domains. So will help you uh, verify that everything has been moved. Um, it's really important um, when you go to import the users on the destination domain that you uh, modify the CSV. You need to add a password column and then if it's a different domain you, you need to change the uh, the domain path and the user principal name. And you can modify any other information that you need. So let me jump in here. So on my destination or my source domain you can see I've got bunch of users, bunch of OUs, I've got a bunch of groups, and then on my destination domain, it's a completely brand new install. There is no, I've added no OUs, groups, or users. So to start, uh, we want to open up the toolkit and go to OU reports, all organizational units, and I'm going to click run and then export, export this to a CSV file. I will save this as OUs. Now I want to export all of the groups. Come into group reports, click all groups, uh, export, export to CSV. Oh, I gotta click run first. Okay, now I'll export this to the CSV, this is groups. So now I want to export the users, come into export users. And for this example, I'm not going to export my entire domain. It's, it's a very large domain. I've got like 10,000 users. So I just want to do uh, my management OU. So I'll come into AD Pro users management and click run. If you want to do your entire domain, just leave entire domain selected. Uh, and you can see this is going to export a lot of information, the, the group membership, Here's our principal name. Uh, so all, yeah, all this information will be exported and then you can import it to the new domain. And after you export it, if you don't want to import some of this stuff, you can just remove uh, any column that you don't want uh, imported. So export users. So now I will copy all of those exports to the new domain. And then I'll open up the uh, toolkit and we'll start with importing users. So import OUs or import OUs. Uh, select the template, click run. And if I come into Active Directory, refresh, you'll see all of the OUs for my source domain are now created in my new domain. So now I want to import groups. So click on import groups, select template. I will click on the groups template and you can see it's got 667 records. I got a bunch of groups, so I'll click run. Okay, it's finished and it said it's imported 618 groups out of 667. So the reason for the difference is it's not going to uh, overwrite existing uh, groups. So by default, the, um, when you create a new Active Directory domain, it's gonna have a bunch of built-in groups and those are not gonna be overwritten. So that's why there's a difference there from the CSV versus imported groups. Okay, so I come into my new domain and go to my groups, refresh. You can see it's now imported all of these groups. 
So the last step is to import the users. Uh, but before you can do that, uh, we need to modify the CSV a little bit. So you have to add a password column. So we're, we're importing new users. So when you create a user, it has to have a password. So let me insert a password column. All lowercase, and then just make up a password. And then you need to modify, if, if your new domain is a different domain than your source, you need to modify the, um, the OU path because if it's a different domain, this OU path is not gonna exist. So for me, my new domain is network verge. So I'm just going to do a search and replace. I want to find DC equals active directory pro and I'm going to replace that with DC equals network verge. So we'll just do replace. So now that OU path has been updated, uh, the next thing I want to update is the user principal name. So again, if, if you're Source and destination are the same. You can probably leave this as is, but my destination is different. So I'm going to change this from at active directory pro.com to at networkverge.com. And you can, you can change anything else you want. Um, you may want to change the SMTP addresses, but this is just a test domain, so I'm not going to bother about that. And again, you can remove, you know, if you don't want to do telephone numbers, street addresses, you can just delete these columns. So with that, we can now import all of these accounts. So come into import users, going to Select my template. You can also click on import options. By default, the accounts will be enabled. Uh, you can force password change or you can change uh, the last, the name to be last name, first name. By default, it is um, first name, last name. So I'm gonna select my template. Okay, I have to start that over because I, I started the import on my source domain so all the accounts existed so select my template import users click run and this will take several minutes you will see some errors and that's because it's trying to add the users to uh, the domain users group which when you add an account to a domain it does that by default so it's already there but and the tool also tries to does it and it are it's already a member of that uh, group so it's throwing an error just for that um, so I'll pause this because this takes several minutes depending on how many uh, users you have. Okay, the import is complete. So pull up Active Directory. So I'll come into a Pro Users, refresh my management OU, and there's all of the users. So if I open up one up, you can see it's got all the information um, that is from the source domain. So I'll look at telephone numbers, email, address information, number of, you can see it added the users to all the groups. Um, and that's it. So now I've got um, basically a duplicated uh, Active Directory domain from one domain to another domain. I've imported all of the OUs groups and then I imported um, some users. So now let's open up PowerShell and will uh, verify a few things. So first let's check the number of users and I'm doing this on um, 
the OU, my management OU. So I'll select this and run. It says 601 users. So let me copy this over to my other domain. I gotta change. I gotta change the uh, path because that's still pointing to Active Directory Pro. So, if you want to find the distinguished name, you can just right-click on the OU. Gotta turn the advanced features on. And then I want this distinguished name. run this 601 so let's go back and check the number of groups well, let's do OU's run selection 55 groups run selection 667 so on my destination domain 55 and then groups 666 um, and that's because on my source domain, it's got the uh, Microsoft Exchange um, schema installed. So it's got some, an exchange group. So that, that didn't import on my destination domain because I don't have the um, schema on there. So that is pretty much, that is it. Um, I will paste a lot of this information into the notes and then I'll also link to an article that walks through all of this. So on my website, just go to move users and I've got this article, um, I've got this video all written out uh, step by step. So if you, if you don't, if you miss something in the video uh, or if you like reading steps to an article, I've got it all laid out here. Um, in addition, I've got the PowerShell commands that you can copy and paste. So that is it. Um, to be clear, this isn't really a migration because you're not migrating SIDs, you're not migrating user profiles or computer accounts. You're basically just exporting um, all the information from one Active Directory domain and importing it into another domain. It also will not move passwords. I get that question a lot. Uh, you can't export passwords from uh, the domain and import it into another one it's going to create a brand new password for the account so that's it if you have questions please put them in the comment session uh, section or you can send me an email thanks for watching